on us. See how the Bible says and the uh, New Testament says, if your enemy sin against you, go to him or her. And make amends. So you don't carry the eyes. Our father was talking yesterday about uh, getting back to your enemies. Because if you do, then you have, like he said, we have two rebels. Amen. God has recreated you and me in Christ. But we are people who are different. So we become a part of God's solution to the depravity of life as we are reading from the Bible right now. We become a part of His solution and not continue after we receive the Holy Spirit. We have known the truth. Then we still be, continue to become a part of the problem. Amen. Amen. We become a part of God's solution and not His problem. Amen. Amen. So it says what? Proud, mm -hmm. blasphemous, mm -hmm. disobedient to parents, mm -hmm. unthankful, mm -hmm. unholy, unloving, unforgiving, mm -hmm. slanderous, without self-control, mm -hmm. brutal, mm -hmm. despises of good, mm -hmm. traitors, mm -hmm. headstrong, mm -hmm. haughty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Mm -hmm. Having a form of godliness but denying its power, mm -hmm. and from such people turn away. Amen. Mm -hmm. We don't have time to go through all this because I can take you through all this. And so you get, you, you see, it's very good to grasp an understanding of what the word of God is saying. Because when you get understanding, it produces something in you to want to obey God. See, disobedience is rampant because people do not know the word of God. <laughs> See, in, in the church of Laodicea and Revelation, they were they have a good church. Amen. Amen. Man, things were going on. Probably have a large congregation and money to do anything that they want to do. But Jesus looked at them. They left something behind, which caused them to be spiritually bankrupt. The outward flowery uh, pictures of our life does not define our spiritual status. Amen. 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 So we have to learn as believers to always make a demarcation, a distinction between the spiritual and the physical, so that we don't allow ourselves to be deceived that because it is going well on the outward. The spiritual also is growing well. Or when the out, outward is having problems, it affects my spiritual life. Because sometimes there are many people when things are not going well in the physical, it affects their spiritual work with the Lord. And it shouldn't happen. As a person filled with the Holy Spirit, you have the doors to the throne of grace open to you. If you look at Paul's life and many of the believers, Paul, what the Paul says, Paul says, what can take me away or deny me the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, hunger, problems, lack of money, or corruption around me? The love of Christ always is defined by obedience. That is how love is defined. Jesus says, if you love me, I obey my word. Amen. 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 So do not let your outward activities deceive you. Always check yourself. Growing in obedience to the word of God. Because obedience will create the word when we become flesh in you. And the word created coming flesh in you is Jesus Christ, like the only son, coming alive in you. So I advise you. Do not take on the eyes. Because the kingdom of God that has come into our lives comes with power to change us, to strengthen us, to equip us, and conquer us, to be conquered, and more than conquered within this corrupt world. The Bible says God can set a table before you, even in the presence of your enemies. If you are willing, you can walk this corrupt world like you are walking through mines. Oh, and not being blown up. Hallelujah. Yeah. Guess what I have said? Think about it. There's so much time <coughs> in this world to cool your love for Christ. Amen. But just remember, I will not carry the eyes. I will not allow lawlessness to oppress the man.
my life. It is difficult. I will wait for my dad. Because if I wait for my dad, shall I kneel like a sheep? And shall man like a eagle? Because he fly like a eagle. God always brings you increase after you have stood firm. And faithful. Amen. When you make problems and challenges and the eyes is trying to get you to cool your love of Christ, being unfaithful and compromised, you know there is something on the way for you from God. And that is why you understand.